now. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Christina Gasford. The frigid cold has a lot of people planning for a cozy weekend inside, including myself, but some seasoned New Englanders will still be bundling up to hit the slopes. Channel 3's Rachel Mann is live in the WCAX orchard with what you need to know before you go. Christina, we haven't got quite gotten to those frigid temps yet, but I'm sure many people will be heading to the mountain this weekend. And before that, maybe stopping for an iced coffee because, well, we're in New England. But even before that, they should be checking to see if the ski area they're heading to is open with these negative wind chills coming in. Many are modifying or suspending lift operations. Sitting on the chairs. <laughs> it's cold on the rear. <laughs> Darcy Collins and her family are visiting from Iowa. Their plans for the weekend? Get in as much skiing as possible. We are skiing up until Monday. I would say as long as you dress good, you stay warm. For others, the predicted wind chills of up to minus 40 are a little too cold. This weekend's going to be way too cold. It's a good time to get on the couch, watch a movie, hang out with their friends. I was going to ski on Saturday at Smuggler's Notch, but I knew it was going to take me a while to get down the mountain. And since I wouldn't be able to get as many breaks in inside, I realized that tonight would be a better day just so I could avoid frostbite. Places like Bolton Valley, Cochrane, Smugs, and Jay Peak agree all of them will be suspending lift operations on Friday, with Saturday morning still up in the air. It certainly hurt us financially, uh, but luckily we have a good understanding of what drives our success here. Um, it's not the lift ticket sales, it's the folks that buy those lift tickets, and we need to keep them safe. Larger ski areas like Stowe and Killington will be open, though certain trails and lifts will be closed. Molly Mahar from Ski Vermont says if you are heading out, to be prepared. You know, bring a buddy. Don't don't go out by yourself on a on a cold day. Um, cover all your exposed skin. So make use of those goggles, face masks, um, neck gaiters. Not only will those things keep you warm, they'll keep you safe. Will Moran with the Vermont Department of Health says it's important to watch for signs of frostbite and get medical help if you experience any of them. They include skin that's cold to the touch, numbness and tingling, and red, white, or gray discoloration. Folks that are intoxicated. Um, or are or have uh, taken a substance, you know, may not uh, be acutely aware of the changes that or the injury that they're experiencing. I mean, those are probably the big ones. Colin says, in her experience, the trick to staying warm is to keep moving. As long as you work out there, you don't you don't get cold. <laughs> In addition to bundling up and watching your substance intake, you should always have the number for ski patrol on you in case anything goes awry on the mountain. And again, before you head out, make sure the ski area you're heading to is actually operating tomorrow. Christina. Rachel, thank you. Now, 